Hi everybody, I'm Philip Van Dusen. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the 10 best graphic design resources. Okay, so here are the 10 best graphic design resources. Number one, Envato.com. Envato.com is my number one by a long shot. Envato is broken into a lot of different aspects of their site. There's Envato Studio, where they sell digital assets and stock video and Photoshop actions. There's also Envato Market, where you can hire a designer or you know a subcontractor if you need to get something specialized done for yourself. There's Envato Toots, which is a tutorials, video tutorials, where you can learn just about anything, just about any application, any program. There's a tutorial there where you can learn it. Envato Sites, which is for people who don't code, who need a website builder, where you can build a website without having to know how to code. There's Envato Elements, which is graphic elements, icons, fonts, clip art. You can subscribe to Envato for as little as $29 a month and have access to all of their assets, or you can buy them a la carte, which is what I do, because I don't always need them every month. One of my favorite parts of Envato, I'm actually calling it as number two as a graphic resource, is Graphic River, graphicriver.com. Graphic River sells graphic elements, fonts, icons, Photoshop actions, and I find it to be a really great selection of assets to choose from. And again, relatively cheap, and these sort of assets you can build into your projects and ultimately build through to your clients. Number three is iStock.com. iStock.com is a stock photography site iStock has some of the best stock photography that I know of. A lot of stock photography out there is crap. The worst thing you can see on the web or in a design project is bad, cheap stock photography. So iStock offers really great stock. It's part of Getty. Great quality photography for really reasonable prices. You can join for and have a subscription for $99 a month, which gives you 10 images to download, and you can download those medium, low, high resolution. You can also subscribe for $299 a month where you get 100 images. So the more you spend, the cheaper the images are. But you can also buy them a la carte. There's a number of different plans. You should look into it. It's great photography. There's a huge selection. There's two sections, essentials and signatures, and I recommend you get access to both of them because the photos in the signature collection are actually really fantastic. Essentials are good, but having that breadth of their entire collection, I highly recommend. Another stock photography site is stocksy.com. I put these second to iStock, but it's a great stock photography site, excellent quality, and you can buy them for as little, if they're low resolution and for the web, as little as $15 an image, but then it goes up depending on the license and the resolution and what you're going to use it for. So stocksy.com. Number five is a website called placeit.net. Placeit gives you the opportunity to create free mock-ups of your design work. So creating mock-ups in Photoshop so it looks like your work is on a laptop or a screen or an iPhone or on a product or on a t-shirt is a great way to sell through your design work to your clients. Showing your design work rather than just flat on a screen, actually in situ, in a setup, on a car, on a sign, on a building. And Placeit gives you the types of files for free that you need to create those sort of mockups. All you have to do is sign up. So I really encourage you to check out Placeit and actually start using mockups to sell through your design work. Number six is another one of my favorite sites, Pixteller.com. Pixteller gives you a simple online interface, makes it really easy to create social media images in a huge range of different formats. Now, one of the frustrating things about creating social media images is that all of the formats and sizes and shapes for the different platforms are all different. So having to create the same design but in all these different formats is really a pain in the ass, and Pixteller makes it easy. So they have an online interface where you can design a social image and the editor features over a million different photos, 10,000 different shapes you can use, different fonts, and it smart resizes them for different formats. So you can subscribe for as little as $10 a month and have unlimited use of all of their images and assets in order to create social media images. So check out pixteller.com. It's a really amazing site. Number seven is another one of my favorite sites. It's losttype.com. Losttype 
is actually a font co-op where font designers sell their fonts really cheap. There's a huge selection of really unique and unusual fonts on Lost Type. And you can pay as you want. So that's another one of the really cool things about it is that you can pay or as little or as much as you're able to bear for the fonts that you want to buy. You can pay as little as $5 to buy a font. And like I said, there's a lot of really cool fonts on this site. And it's also a great place that if you design fonts as kind of a side gig and you want to make some money, you can sell your fonts on Lost Type as well and become part of that co-op. Number eight is another font-related resource, fontspace.com. So fontspace has over 32,000 free fonts online. As designers, having more fonts is always more fun. It gives you more variety to the work, makes your work more unique. So check out fontspace.com. There's a lot of really cool fonts there that you can download, and it'll cost you nothing. My last two resources are about printing. So when you do your design work, eventually you're going to have to get it produced, whether that's a business card or a pamphlet or a poster, some sort of physical printed object if it's not just for digital. And my number nine resource is Printing for Less, or PFL, printingforless.com. They do short run digital printing. You can upload your stuff online and then they send it to you. They do brochures and business cards and pamphlets, everything from folders to packaging, hang tags. They're a great resource. They're really nice people to work with too if you get them on the phone and they'll solve any problem for you. I got to say their prices are absolutely not the most cut rate. They're kind of in the middle there, but their quality is fantastic. So printing for less, check them out. Number 10 is around business cards. So having a business card for yourself as a designer is a must have. Also any brand that you're working on, any product, any company, any personal brand, they all need business cards. And so one of the most fantastic business card resources is Vistaprint.com. I'm sure you've seen the ads, you might even possibly have used them. But Vistaprint is a great resource for graphic designers. Also, a second business card printing uh, resource is Moo.com. You may like one more than the other. I personally like Vistaprint more. I actually think their heavy quality business card stock is better than Moo. I've actually ordered business cards from both. So I'm a big advocate of Vistaprint, but you may like one more than another. But those two resources, number 10, must have resources for graphic designers. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video on 10 resources for graphic designers. If you did, hit subscribe below so you can see my videos when they come out. And visit me at philipvandusen.com muse and subscribe to my newsletter. It comes out every two weeks. I share a resource, insights, trends, articles, videos on graphic design and entrepreneurship. And with that, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.